Robert. Look, I can't believe that you're not getting my messages. Baby, please, will you phone me back? I'm going out of my mind here. Now it's you. Don't I get a kiss? Amy, what do you want? Some sheet music that I left here. I've got music club after. What, again? Hi, Amy. Oh, glad someone's pleased to see me. Oh, problem? Robert, not about. Amy, you've got your stuff, so can you leave? No way to talk to her. Oh, it's fine, Grandad. Treat them mean and keep them keen not working anymore, Mum. Oh, just get out, will you? Bye. Uh, how bad is it this time? As bad as it gets. Sally, it's a few inches of land. It's the principal. Yeah, but neighbours kill each other over stuff like this, you know. I can believe it. So why do you let it go? Yasmin is not getting away with this. Right, I'll see you later. What time are you back tonight? Same as usual. So why don't I cook you something nice to cheer you up? What, you? What do you mean, me? Well, you only usually do beans on toast. I did spag bolt all the week. Yeah, it's not exactly cordon bleu, is it? So what would be cordon... whatever? Well, I don't know. Wild salmon, cockavan. Cockavan? Right, I'll see you later. Right, I'll cook you something, yeah? Yeah. Whatever. See you later. Cockle, eh? Mm. You can't be serious. H hang on a minute. We had an agreement. Oh, well, thanks a lot. <sighs> What's up? Oh, the florist that Sean was using for Will and Saskia's wedding is just cancelled. Interesting. Is that all you can say? Well... Have you ever thought that somebody up there might be trying to tell you something? I know you don't want to hear it, but you're playing with fire. You're right, I don't want to hear it. Look, I tried to get out of it and it didn't work. Try again. Well, there's no need to, is there now? Sean's doing most of the work. As long as you don't mind him rabbiting on in here to the punters about how he's the next flipping David Emmanuel. <laughs> I think I can put up with that. Good. Right, OK, so, replacement florist, any ideas? Don't say Tracy. Robert! Have you not been getting my messages? Nothing more to say to you. What, wait, um, where have you been staying? Out my way, Tracy. Look, what if I had been pregnant? Well... But you weren't. Look, we can't let this go. It's way too important. Not anymore. Ken, will you call your daughter off, please? Tell her to stay away. I'm not gonna give up! You know that, don't you? You're wasting your time. Now will you talk about it? Hey, what was going on there? Well, they've had a bust up, which I'm sure is blazingly obvious. What about? <laughs> if I had the foggiest idea, I'd gladly tell you. Looking forward to your hand night, Kate. What? Oh, yeah. The lesbians have head nights, then. Well, it's not illegal, but it's frowned upon, cos we're like, you know, freaks. Well, that does seem fair. Uh, fell for that, didn't I? So do you each have separate parties, then, or what? We're just having the one. Oh. Yeah, spend enough time apart as it is. Yeah, that's true. And I've thought of lots of fun and games for the night. Are you going? I have offered my wedding planner services to Kate free of charge. Oh, getting above yourself, Sean, just because Michelle's roped you in as her assistant. Well, we can't all aspire to the dizzy heights of local politics, Sally. <laughs> so what you got planned? Or is it a secret? Mr and Mrs are back. Oh, Mrs and Mrs, please. Mm. Polite version at 8 p.m. Ex certificate after midnight. Mm. Hey, babe. We're just talking about you. Avert your ears, everyone. We have babe on the phone. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. After only knowing somebody for five minutes. I mean, better her than me. Oh, that's right, Sal. So pour cold water on it. I'm sure they'll both be very happy. Yeah, me too. Sorry. What? I know that's fab. Yeah. Can't wait to see you. Lots of invoices for you to sign if you're in a good mood. Uh, I'm not, but I will. You know, it's times like this I'm really glad you did outbid me. <laughs> And all the other worries it must bring you. Well, I'm sure you'd handle it just as well. Listen, Leon, I've been thinking. No, I don't like the sound of this. No, you, you work hard. This place would fall apart without you. Why don't I give you a pay rise? Really? 
Yeah, you deserve it. Well, I'm not going to argue with that if you insist. <laughs> Which I do. Right, so uh, how much were you thinking, if that's not too cheeky? <laughs> well, let me work something out. All right. Thanks. Pleasure. I saw the florist had white lilies in a really nice arrangement. Yeah, we'll use them then. Sorry. I'm only here because they can't do it. Look, I'm sure we can match what they had. If you could just give me the details. I'll have a think and let you know. Bye. So, what happened? He dumped me. What? Because you're pregnant? No, I'm not. I'm not pregnant. Then why? Don't ask. Oh, I'm sorry. So what's going to happen then? No idea. Well, do you want him back? Yes. But he's just not interested. And there's no one else on the scene? Well, I don't think so. Well, I'm sure once you put your mind to it, you can lure him back. You generally do. No way, babe. This is going to take way more than a push-up bra and a couple of vodkas. Mm, must be bad. Oh, Mrs Connor. Uh, Johnny just sent me out to get him a coffee. I'll, uh, get straight back. See ya. What do you want? I saw you and Robert rowing on the street. Oh, and now you want to find out what it was about? Big deal or small deal? It didn't look small to me. Oh, your mind must be whirling. Oh, you... you know, it's your worst nightmare, Carla. We've had a massive bust-up and I've told him everything, and I mean everything. I don't believe you. How I found out about you and him. How I got you to twist Nick's arm so he would sell the bistro to Robert. So when your fiancé comes back home, I'm going to make sure he finds out exactly what you've been doing behind his back. No, you're lying again. Ask Robert yourself. So you think Cockervan's a bit too complicated, then? Eh? Right, I'll just keep it simple, mate. I wanted it to be something special. Why don't you just stick to a normal roast? You can manage that, can't you? Yeah? Right, I'm just sleeping to the bank. Uh, uh, Leanne, most romantic meal off the top of your head. Oh? Does Sally know you're propositioning other women? No, it's for her. I'm just looking for ideas. All right, uh, oysters and champagne, followed by lobster and more champagne. Well, you asked. Try. <laughs> OK, now. Listen, you don't fancy coming over and kicking it all off for us, do you? No? All right, then I've just seen Tracy. I must have brightened you, eh? Well, she said you've broken up. After what she did to Nick, what do you expect me to do? So you do know? Yeah. Thanks for letting me know what you were up to. She said she'd have told Nick about me and you if I had. It's not skin off your nose, is it? Well, if I was some grubby little con man, it wouldn't be. <laughs> but I'd like to think I'm a bit better than that. How would you feel if Nick used blackmail to get you what you want? The woman's evil. You went along with it. Off for lunch, fancy coming? Oh, I'd love to, but I've got stuff to do. Oh, you've got to eat. Yeah, I know, but Kaz was hoping to make it back by now, but she can't come till late this afternoon. Oh, so I'm your fallback? No, oh, you're my friend who never lets me down. Yeah, yeah. Who can also advise me on what to pack for my honeymoon? How long are you going for? Mm, just a few days. She has to be back, so later in the year we'll go for longer. Where are you going? Got one or two ideas. Have lunch with me and I'll tell you. You can also give me tips on how to avoid saying the word love and wedding on my hen night. What? Just another one of Sean's games he's got planned. Oh, come on, Soph. Right, all right, give me one minute. Right, I'm ready. Right, pub or calf? Up to you, little Miss Wedding Girl. See how hard it is not to say wedding? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, as long as you and Tracy were together, she, she had no reason to tell Nick about us. But now that's changed. You might not have anything to lose, but it'll be the end for me and him. If she tells him. She's already promised she will. So what are you saying? You want me to get back with her so you and him can live happily ever after? Sorry, love. It doesn't work like that. You 
think they'd have some like nice tapasy bits, you know, like prawns with garlic or tamasalata. Yes, the nearest you're gonna get to that is hot pot. What is it with this place and hot pot? Don't let Betty hear you say that. Who? Betty. It's her recipe. She used to work here. She'll get you from beyond the grave. Kaz! I didn't think you were coming till later. <laughs> Mm. Oh, I managed to move some things around. I thought I'd surprise you. No, we're just working out what to wear. Um, I'll leave you two to it. Oh, really? Yeah, you must have loads to talk about. No, don't go. Any friend of Kate's and all that. I'll get you a drink. I'll have an orange towel. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> You know as well as I do, she's not evil, not really. Staff only in the kitchen, sorry. You'd have never have come back for her if she was. I was young and stupid when I knew her before. Well, you seem to have got on her right till now. You're wasting your time. I'm right, though, aren't I? Look, how many women have you known since you and her got divorced? Hey, I, I mean, you must have been fighting them off. And that's apart from your wife. But still, you came back. Why? I don't know. Curiosity, scratch an old itch. What? No, no, no. You came back because not one of those women made you feel like she does. She gives you danger and unpredictability. I mean, she she makes you feel alive, doesn't she, Robert? She gets under your skin. And I know she feels the same way about you because there's not many men that she'd forgive for playing away. Hey, her and me were split up when that happened. Oh, why should she be bothered about that? I don't care what she thinks. OK. OK, yes, she is more warped than the rest of us, but evil, Robert. She did what she did because she's crazy about you. And it turned out right for you, didn't it? I mean, she got you this place. And you know what? Nick is more than happy with the result. And if I do what you ask, you're happy too. <sighs> OK, you let her go. You wait to find someone else who does it for you like she does. And watch while she sets up with another man, because she will, you know. Meanwhile, you settle for the, the quiet life, telling yourself that's what you want and knowing that it's not. But you know one thing, Robert? This might be the last chance of happiness for both of us. Everything sorted now, then, is it? Pretty much. Why, you've been sat on your backside in some army barrack. Careful. I've been slaving to make this the happiest day of our lives. That's <laughs> as it should be. I've, um, I've heard she's got some really good ideas. What about the hen party, then? Oh, I thought you weren't interested, so I've not planned anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh, we start here at 1800 hours, evacuate and convoy at 1930. Yeah, OK. <laughs> and it's a shame that you can't go away for, like, more than a few days. Mm, Sophie's been my right hand woman while you've been away. Really? Yeah, look, I'm gonna have to go. Not because <clears> of me. <throat> nope, because I have lots of work to do and I don't care what you say. I know you two have got things to talk about. You sure? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. You'll tell me to mind my own business, but I um, just want to say how sorry I am that you and Tracy have split. I mean, she was really excited about having your baby. And now, well, I just think it's dead sad. Well, Beth, like you said, it's none of your business. No, but you were good together, you and her. Do you play a musical instrument, Grandma? I'm afraid not, love. Well, you're never too old to learn. I think you'll find I'm the exception to that. <laughs> oh, afternoon. Hi. Well, I'll pick you up later, then. OK, see ya. Bye, love. You don't want to go in and listen? Oh, I'll uh, give that a miss. Get enough of term. <laughs> All the rehearsing she does. I know what you mean. Well, I might make myself a coffee. Don't know if you fancy one. Yeah, OK, why not? <laughs> Tell you're not going to believe this. Yeah, I've cooked you something special. Well, what drainage development committee? Well, you never said you're going to be late. So what's time are you going to be back? Well, it's not going to wait this, Sal. Sal? Sal? <sighs> How did Amy get into this? 
A granddad bought her an old violin. I was amazed when she showed interest. Same here. Sam's uncle found a clarinet in a junk shop and he's never looked back. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of earplugs are you using? <laughs> For men. Uh, <laughs> wax ones block the noise out better. Oh. <laughs> But it beats staring at a computer screen for hours on end. Oh, tell me about it. You must be a very proud mother. A dad must be proud too. Oh, he is. Sam says he's abroad. Or, or at least that's what Amy told him. That's right. Has Amy any brothers or sisters? Uh, no, she's an only child. Wonder how they're getting on. Well, we could go check. Or we could have another brew. Uh, there'll be another half hour yet, yeah, easy. You're on. It's my round. <laughs> Robert. Right, so the cake's definitely sorted then. Yep. Three tiers with organic marzipan, if you please. Mm, learn something new every day in this job. Right, OK. Flowers. Please, not Tracy. Well, unless I can find somebody else. There's got to be loads of other places. I've been looking all day and I can't find anybody that's available and in budget. Unless we hurry up, even she might get booked up and all. Hello, sweetheart. How was your session? Good afternoon all round, I'd say. Wouldn't you, Grandma? Uh, yeah. Speaking of music, me and you've got to go and check out that swing band. Oh, yeah, the best hurry up then, aren't we? See you. See you later. See you later. Bye -bye. Have you got some rehearsing to do? No, I'm done for today. How was your coffee? Well, uh, classic rise rules, you know. Not strong enough. Cheap at the price. <laughs> so you're getting on OK with Chris, then? And now we're in that place drinking watery coffees a long time. So what are you driving at? I thought it was the first thing that girls asked each other. Oh! <laughs> you? Well? Well what? Well, do you fancy him? Oh! <laughs> if I'd have asked my grandma that, she'd have boxed my ears. So is that a no, then? It most definitely is a no. And it's none of your business, even if I did fancy him. So is that what you were getting at when you said, a good afternoon all round? Well, yeah, but you can't blame me for asking, wouldn't you? I try to be a bit more subtle about it. Yeah, maybe you're right, but I get that off my mum. Still, we got there in the end. <laughs> you should have told me. I like my fellas to win, not to come second. <sighs> you old fellas. I guess I've blown that enough. Well, I suppose you've come for your stuff, have you? Robert, I just wanted everything to be perfect. Just, uh... Don't ever do it again. What, are you saying that you forgive me? Forgive's a bit strong. Let's just say I'll... I'll overlook it. This time. I'm still hacked off with you. I'm seriously hacked off with Look, you. I promise you, I will never, ever do anything like this again. I promise you. Not that I've been perfect. Well, I don't care about that. We can't screw up again, Tress. Yeah, I know. Last chance for both of us, yeah? Yeah. That was an eye-opener. Who would have thought that funding for drains would be so fascinating? You didn't cut, did you? It's ruined now. Look, if I want to get on these committees, I have to put my name forward. I need to put myself out there. No, I'm just saying that you could have rung. Well, I did. Yeah, and it was too late. I spent all day planning this, Sally. I wanted it to be something special. I'm sorry. Look, just so you know, I'm going out on Friday with Gerald Dutton from Plan M. We're going to discuss the Fresh Girls development. Oh, forget it. I'm going to put it down. Careful for buying it somewhere. Here we go.
Hard day. Hi, Kaz, are you all right? All that worm in your way in with Kate must really take it out of you. I'm sorry. Don't think I've noticed what's going on. <laughs> I've not got a clue what you're talking about. Just keep your distance, OK? Kaz, me and Kate are just friends. Listen, you should be talking to me like this because you have got it so wrong. Shall I spell it out? Don't mess with me or you'll know about it. Would it really have been so bad if I actually had been pregnant? Let's just stick to reality, shall we? So you're still saying that you wouldn't have wanted it? Tracy, we just got back together by the skin of our teeth. We both got new businesses to bed in. There's more than enough to be going on with. Yeah, I guess. Oh, she won't be smirking when Nick finds out what she did. You just don't get it, do you? You have got to stop this obsession with Carla and ruining people's lives. Yeah, I know. I've got too much respect for Nick. And even if I didn't, that's not how I choose to live. I'm sorry. You tell Nick. I won't. Robert, I promise. Good. If you do, I really will walk. Which little one is going to reveal too much about their parents? It's the last in the series of Big Star's Little Star next on ITV. And Sunday night at nine, The Will reveals Peter's secrets when a new series of home fires continues. Mm-hmm.